Hi everyone, welcome back to Crazy Chinese. When we start to learn something new, we always ask what we should do so that we can learn well and learn faster. But knowing what we shouldn't do is also very crucial to avoid wasting time and making mistakes. If you are new to this channel, don't hesitate to click on the like button and subscribe. My first suggestion is don't try to find answers in the forums, or in other words, don't depend too much on the forums. I know it sounds a little bit against your intuition, because the purpose of creating a forum is to gather the people with the same interest together so that you can discuss, share information, or help each other. But the Chinese language forum is a little bit special. The forum itself is in English. So it already blocks a lot of native speakers. And among those who speak English, really few, few, few are professional. The majority come to this kind of forum is to practice their English or try to make friends who speak English. So you can see, seek answers from these amateurs is really not a good choice. Sometimes when I open a post and see the answers below, wow full of mistakes. But the forum is still a good platform to learn about cultural things, to seek advice, to collect study materials or make friends. But just try not to use it to solve your specific language questions. Don't try to learn everything. I believe that everyone has this experience. When you open a textbook, just in one article or in one conversation, you find there's dozens of new words and new expressions. And you have this determination in your mind. I'm just going to recite everything, so I'll become the Chinese master very soon. But when you try to learn everything, the result is you nearly learn nothing. We must understand how our brain works. The brain cannot absorb everything at one moment. It will get tired. So my advice is, you select what is really important and what is related to your interest, related to your daily life, to your work. And trust me, if this is something related to your environment, to your life circumstance, you will remember them very fast. And if you have extra energy, and then you can learn the rest. Don't self-study from the very beginning. I know people think nowadays we have all the resources online, textbooks, YouTube videos, so why do I still need a tutor? I can learn everything by myself. Wrong. One of the very important functions of the tutor is to correct your mistakes. And Chinese is really a language that needs a lot of corrections, even during the pronunciation stage. We don't talk about other complicated terms, but only pinyin and the tone. Many students in the physical class, they need corrections over and over again, and they still cannot master them. So how can you ensure that you learn everything on your own without making mistakes? I know many, many self-study students. They feel very well about themselves at the beginning, and they carry the mistakes and move on, and make the mistakes bigger and bigger, until one day they mess up everything, and they have to come back to the class from the beginning. So don't save the money on things you really need to spend. Make a solid foundation before you can do everything by yourself. Don't stick to the why. Sometimes in a language you will find there's some point hard to understand or hard to understand why we use that term. It's normal because language is not a science. We cannot explain all the details. When you encounter this situation, if you stick to find the answer, stick to the why, you will only make the things complicated in your mind. Just write it down and observe other similar examples. Try to imitate the language terms even though you don't understand why. But with time going by, when you make a certain quantity of sentences, you will get the sense, the language sense, naturally. 
So this is all about today's lesson. If you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to comment below. I'll see you next time. 再见, bye bye.